The city of Portland puts plans on hold to clear out a group of tents in the Bayside neighborhood. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amanda Hill. And I'm Brian Yacono. The dozens of people living in those tents have a reprieve right now until an emergency meeting of the city's Health and Human Services and Public Safety Committee. That's now scheduled for next week. New Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse went to that encampment next to Trader Joe's on Marginal Way and spoke with some of those who've made their home there and with those trying to help them. A lot of these people, they're really good people. It's just, I don't know, society just needs to give them a chance. And they need, they, need, they need more people helping out. For much of 2023, this area behind Trader Joe's has been where Cordell Wadley and dozens of others call home, but not for long. The city placing these signs that this campsite is unauthorized and will be removed. But with shelter beds in the city already full, those like Wadley wonder where they can go next. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully they come up with a plan before they move everyone or at least send like have a, a like a scheduled area where they can keep people posted in tents or something. A spokesperson for the city tells me this encampment isn't going to be closed just because it's a campsite, but rather due to hazardous health and safety concerns. The trash is not good. General Abu is also living here, spending Thursday morning collecting and removing trash from the site. Like others here, where they go next is unknown. I just want people to understand this is not um, going to be solved in 30 or 60 days. We are going to have people living outside for an extended period of time. Danny Laliberti is an outreach worker and sees what Portland's homeless community faces every day. She hopes as the community faces a housing crisis with limited shelter capacity, that we can support the unhoused community with humanity. We need showers, we need wash stations, we need porta potties, we need large dumpsters, we need sharps containers, we need to end the stigma on who we think is living outside. The city recognizing some have no option but to live outdoors, writing, in those cases we recommend that they do not place any tent or other structure or personal belongings on or near a public road or path regularly used by the public in order to avoid becoming an obstruction which may require removal. Outreach workers like Laliberti hoping the city, unhoused people, outreach workers and more can come together and find a solution. We need to be realistic. This is not going away. The city says it's working with partners, including the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, to coordinate efforts to provide outreach and services to this community and hopes to implement that approach soon. In the meantime, if you do need to stay outside, the city says keep it small, clean, and safe for the best chance of avoiding removal. In Portland, Sean Stackhouse, New Center, Maine. The city also recommends those experiencing homelessness speak with staff in the city's social services division at 39 Forest Ave. By doing so, they can be directly notified of any shelter bed openings.